And on our big story tonight at 10, a college basketball recruit from Milwaukee is in the New York jail without bond tonight. 23-year-old Sarion McGee is facing more than a dozen felony charges after officers say they found him on campus with illegal guns and ammunition. Our Madeline O'Neill live with why his loved ones say there is much more to this story. Madeline? Well, McGee has played college ball before, recently at Grambling State. Now, Canisius College was recruiting him when he was arrested for allegedly having those illegal guns and ammunition. But rather than a criminal, his loved ones say he's a role model. Give him a chance and get to know him. That's all I want. To Sarion McGee's family. He helps kids to understand that they can be whatever they want to be. That's a man going places. You're probably going to be the next NBA player. No more for me. With fans on and off the court. And it's not just to fans, it's to us. Like, we look up to him. I look up to him. Growing up, I never really, like, my dad wasn't really in my life, so, like, my big brother and my uncle, you know, my role models. Arrested at Canisius College, where he was being recruited to play basketball, McGee has now found himself in a different court. According to prosecutors, Canisius College public safety officers found McGee with two loaded illegal handguns along with magazines on him and a shotgun and more magazines in his car parked near the school's athletic center. I feel like they're making him out to be a mass shooter and that's obviously false. Um, I just want people to know that he is like a gentle giant. In court, McGee's lawyer argued that it was all purchased legally in Wisconsin and Illinois for protection, adding that McGee had all of his things in his car because he was still looking for a place to live. This comes after a May shoot in which a man is accused of killing 10 people at a supermarket, a little more than a mile from Canisius campus. In court with McGee, the judge brought up the national debate on guns, calling the guns and ammunition found a, quote, arsenal, questioning how anyone could not know that each state has different gun laws. I can't get too deep into stuff. For legal reasons, McGee's family and friends aren't talking details about the case itself, but are focusing on where McGee goes from here. His legacy will continue because nothing going to stop him from getting what God got for him. Canisius College doesn't have comment for us tonight beyond that they were recruiting McGee to play basketball for them. Now, in total, McGee faces 15 counts and up to 15 years in prison if convicted of the highest charge. Live in Brown Deer, Madeline O'Neill, Fox 6 News. All right, Madeline, thank you.